what hammer is best for me? Well, that's a pretty tough question without watching you do your work. I have to rely on knowing what it is you do, but really you can answer this question yourself very easily, okay? Now, if you're looking for something to where you pound 16s intermittently every once in a while and you do finish work and you do, you know, you, you do a plethora of things. Well, I'm going to say the best universal hammer is the M4. The M4 will get you through light framing, get you through finish, get you through siding, get you through whatever it is you want to do. Now, if you do siding, you might want to think about the dimple face like I explained in my, my head uh, explanation. Well, that's just personal preference at that point, okay? Now, I did mention that on the white claw, the white claw right here, that generally moves in the direction of finished carpentry or something uh, that doesn't have as much industrial or heavy duty construction. So this is really a specialty head. So what I recommend is you stay with the traditional head, if you're going for as much as you possibly can do with one hammerhead and one handle, okay? And if not, you know, ideally you can mix and match these heads. Now, if you wanna take the M4 and put an M1 head on it, now basically you have a monster hammer because you have such a throw, short throw on this and a lot more weight out here, believe me, this thing really goes after it with an M1 head on an M4 handle. And there's lots of guys that swing them. Take for instance, my mates down in Australia, they really prefer a shorter handle ha hammer handle and really like the big beefy head. So each market has a different, a different uh, take on what it is they've traditionally used and how they can complement what they used before with my system, okay? Now on the M1, same thing goes. You know, you can put an M4 on this and have a longer throw with a lighter head and you can get some, you can get some work done with it. And if you don't mind, you know, you can choke up and use it as a, as a smaller hammer or, you know, or you can throw back here on the end and throw that M4 into something and you, you, you can get a lot done with it. So really, it all comes down to personal preference as to what, you're, what you really like. If you like a heavy hammer, M1 with an M4 body or an M1 with, with, uh, with the M1 handle and the M1 head. That's, if that's what you really like. The heavy, strong, want to kill it, okay? The M4, that's more finesse and it works on both platforms, but it definitely works better on the M4 handle, which it was designed for. So I hope that answers your questions in regards to what hammer you should use.